Hi, it's Gilly Guts here. So I'm going to be showing you today what I use when changing my stoma bag. As you can see, I do need to step back a little bit just to be able to show you. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing today is the crusting effect. Um, now this is when you've got quite a lot of moisture around the stoma. Um, and you know, you're finding your bag hard to stick. A lot of people when they use powder, you know, they tend to find that their bag doesn't stick as well um, as it should. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that happening. I have just had a shower, so I do apologise. My hair is still a little bit wet. I did try and blow dry it as much as I could. Um, literally the best shower I've had all week. So I'm just getting out my wet wipes. Sorry for the noise. I also, as well, before I start, as I put my bag on the radiator to preheat it just so it sticks better. So when I come nearer to the end, I'll take it off just to let it cool just a little bit um, before I stick it on. So first I go in with my adhesive remover, which is what everybody does. Um, just a disclaimer just now, if you're squeamish, please don't watch. Um, obviously this is pre-recorded so you can skip it until you see the part where I do the crusting effect, but it is bag change day, so yeah. So I'm just going to get started. There we are. So I'm just going to go ahead with my usual routine, which is cleaning the stoma site itself. Now I have an ileostomy, so this looks a lot different to what a colostomy would and also the bags can be different as well. Um, you also get what's called a loop ileostomy which is also different. Uh, they tend to be, well, what looks like a loop, um, whereas my one's just a, an end ileostomy. So as you can see, so it's all nice and clean. Um, the skin's looking really healthy which is good. Um, signs that you want to look out for if your skin is not healthy is when the skin starts to break down. Um, if the skin is patchy and dry, um, if you've got any spots or uh, granulomas. Um, granulomas are, uh, they almost look like little ulcers on the edges of your stoma uh, where it meets the skin. Sometimes this can be caused when the bag or the seals that you're using are too tight on the stoma and they usually do go away. Um, you know, once you correct it. Sometimes they do need um, to be moved surgically, but because you have no nerve endings, you can't feel it. Um, so I've never experienced, I've always been quite lucky that they do, they do tend to go away, right? So now is my favorite product. This is the Trio Elise Skin, uh, Stin, Sting Free Skin Barrier Spray. Just so you can see. It is amazing. This is literally the best um, barrier spray I've ever used. I've used quite a few over the years. I've had my stoma for, gosh, it'll be about five years this June. And what you want to do is you want to spray it around the area where the bag will stick. Now, if you use flange extenders, which are also known as half moon stickers, then you want to maybe um, spray a little bit more around the edges where they, those are going to stick just to protect the skin, and um, that's what you want to do. And then next, with my dry wipe, is I like to fold it first. I'm not sure how other people do this, I've never actually asked. Um, but it's literally dry already, like it's so quick. Um, so the next product I go in with is just uh, stoma powder. You can get loads, there's so many different ones that you can get. Um, I just took the first one that there was available, but kind of all work the same. So I just literally put some on my cloth and what I do is I lift up the stoma and pop it just in the raw areas where the moisture will be. And you'll be able to see it as well, even though you've just cleaned and dried your stoma, you'll still be able to see, you know, where the moistured parts are. But you want to do this all around that areas. For me, mine is all around the stoma. It's mostly underneath um, that is moisturised for me. 
and then I'm just going to go in at the top as well. So once that's patted in, I fold over to the side where there's no product and just lightly whisk away. It's all over my leggings as well, but <laughs> we can clean that <laughs> just so that it's only in the bits that you want it to be. There. And then next, again, I am going to go in with my skin barrier spray. Now this is what's called the crusting effect. So it enables the powder to still work, but also protecting your skin at the same time. And when you put the skin barrier spray on top, it seals it. Um, so it has a chance um, to absorb all the moisture that happens and it also um, helps your bag stick, you know, prevents it from, from peeling off. So you just go in all those areas that you've just done with the powder, let that dry for a minute. And I kind of tidy up as I go along, everybody's kind of different. But if like me you can't stand for very long, or you know, you're quite tired, then you want to try and do things as quickly as possible. Now at this point, this is where I take my preheated bag off the radiator just to let it sit for a minute whilst I do this. Now this product is the best. These are the silicone seals. Uh, just so you can see what they look like. Where are we? Here we are. So these are the Siltac Ostomy Seals. And this one is the 20 to 28 because my stroma is around about 25. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to pop it around the edges of the stoma but you don't want it touching the stoma and what I like to do is go around the edges and just kind of smooth it out and the difference with the silicone seals is you'll find they're a lot more gentle on the skin uh, you get a lot of um, other seals that you get and they're moldable ones and they can be quite harsh on the skin so that's why uh, Trio adapted them to make them into silicone. And then I'm just going to go over with my bag again. Put it over your stoma. Make sure you get all the air out. And then you just hold the bag for a couple of seconds till it sticks. And you kind of just wait till it sticks. Um, now if you have a different type of ostomy bag, it doesn't matter. It's about finding the right products for you. Um, but I would recommend that you use a skin barrier spray, even if you've got healthy skin, just to keep it healthy. Um, we never know when a leak is going to happen. Uh, sometimes they're unavoidable. So it's always handy just to make sure that you're keeping good care of your skin. Um, sometimes if you've got really bad skin, it's good to air it out. So obviously I'm in the bathroom just now so I could stand next to the window and open it if I wanted and, you know, let the skin get some oxygen. But genuinely, that is it. It is super easy and super fast. There we are. So thank you for watching today. Please give a thumbs up. Also, please hit the subscribe button and that ring bell button that lets you know when a new video has been posted and also if I'm live, which I will be later this evening with that Crohn's chick. Um, I'm the co-host of the channel there. Um, any information, head over to my social medias, which is Glittery Guts. Um, there's loads on there. You can message me and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.